for this session, but now the M guy. More importantly, oh, purple in the second traffic. sector. Yeah, <laughs> traffic, traffic there, but still going out of his way. Let's see where the M guy, how much he can improve by. <laughs> it's by 1.7. And we go. The M guy gets a great start from the Safsa, but Safsa gets an even better start, even before turn one is already ahead of the M guy. The M guy has the has the disadvantage, has to go around the outside. The outside. Martin still, P2 and P3. The M guy though, le losing his pole position. Smally then in P3 with TJD being in P4. Jug Plug retains his P5 for now. What has happened to Tim? Has he done any? He spun it. So tragic for Tim and his alternative strategy on the hard tires. He's now way behind the That's going to be one to look out for. Late charge there from Sandy Baggy, but just managed to avoid the Ferrari. Uh, certainly a lot of action there. Marken. Doesn't really want to get past Cine. Where do you go? Go <laughs> Hayden and Hayden. I think Hayden got the job done on Sandy Bag. He has. So Sandy Bag dropping two places there. The teammate of Mr. 256, who's apparently flying a flight simulator right now that we heard in the chat. I don't really think he realizes it's a Formula 1 car, but Sandy's going to come back here. So the DRS trains are starting to come thick and fast here in the desert of Bahrain. Bahrain. And who's gone up? Joe Bloke Joe has, gone. has gone up. That's going to bring What's a safety car then? out. I don't know where Joe Bloke is. DRS open. You should reach about 317. Top speed. Last of the late breakers, of course, because he ha can't use the racing line. Has he got the job done? He has got the job done. DM guy, back in the lead of the race. Beautifully executed. Oh, it's Zapsa goes back <laughs> into, into the real time three, but tries to catch DM guy to do what the limit of. There's lots of DRS racing. And here we go. An overtake around the outside. Yes. And Handy will tuck back in there. And he's got Mr. Jedi a little bit down the road there. Hopefully he's fixed that controller and back in control of that car. With those problems. Meanwhile, someone has lost it. I think Alex Boss has lost it. He must have touched the curb. And that is not too good. And now we do have the train of Daniel, Handy and Jedi. Let's see if something happens. Dan Daniel tries to go for, for the dummy. Tries to sense... To, to make it seem like he goes into the pit. Handy, handy meanwhile, has the dearest advantage. Goes past Daniel. But Jedi would have thinking of it twice. But ha Daniel being it's very like. But still, Handy oh. defending the inside. It gets Nick and Tuck here. Daniel going very wide. And that gives Jedi Wood yeah, the well, opportunity. Didn't we, mate? The first race of the season, everybody's pumped up. Everybody wants to, to get maximum points. And Cine, I think, there on TJD. There it is, P4, P5. And in there is Marken. The Ferrari's joining this party. Party's all over the place here in Bahrain. <laughs> okay, the yeah, welcome in. Even end. without Handy, sorry. But <laughs> yeah. Jeddah would end 256, still battling it out. 256 does have to tie advantage. Just for now, but as I say, I do commentate as curse people sometimes. Losing the rear, but catching it in time. See? We will see as Mark now. Look at how close he is to Sydney. So he must get past Sydney, I believe. Sign and even before Martin can activate the DS, so that is Martin then going up into P4 with TJD. I believe that was jumping Hayden Gillis. So everything is still under control, but we can see the gap is starting too much. The M guys up in there as they're going to switch onto the mediums, most likely from the softs. So we'll keep an eye on that. Sydney will drop back out. So Sydney now on the medium tires. Um, but yeah, Martin try uh, starting to so mate. That's 80 kilometers an hour pit lane too. How could you speed an 80 kilometers an hour pit lane? A little bit too eager. Meanwhile, it's, it's not the, uh, the, the 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 autobahn in Germany, Mr. 256. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think this fan. his teammate Dirk Chock is up the road there, P10. Some of the pits coming in. Saf is boxing. Alex still trying to get that overtake done on Handy. Handy's like trying to close the door every single time. With a few other drivers in the pit lane right now. Markin's in too. Mark me is absolutely 14. Absolutely. I'm wondering, if, obviously, if he was Carlos, he'd be like, smooth operator for sure, but Carlos is now <laughs> in a Ferrari. America's. G'day, Kirby. And have a look at that battle for P11 now. Daniel, Martin, and Cine. Martin now going past Daniel on those old medium tires. But Cine surely wants to get past Daniel as yeah, possible. Goes around yeah. the outside, and Daniel touching the curb. Almost losing the rear, but keeps it. 
and that is beautiful stuff from Sini and that. By, by, by boxing a little bit earlier, Sap has taken the, uh, this is potentially the leader of the race, of course, because the other drivers are still yet to box, so he's done it. Red Bull has worked out. Christian Horner is tapping his foot like crazy. He's happy. Yeah. This has worked out beautifully. That'll drop these leaders are back around where, ooh, Daniel is, or Hayden, territory. Oh, and Mark definitely not keeping any social distance, but that is Mark and then flying past Jedi and Sini <laughs> diving down the inside of turn one. Jedi tries to go back and now Smalley joined the party way down and now the uh, battle Mark between Mark and Sini still goes on. So that is J Sini then past Mark as well. That's beautiful corners for Sini. Sini up into P6 and Smalley has overtaken Jedi Wooder. As well, Jedi would have, of course, still on those old medium tires. Mm -hmm. Overlooked it, but Zafso has been overtaken by the M guy, and the M guy now makes more inroads on Dirk Chocolate. So that is the M guy up into P3, and Zafso still on P5. So Zafso definitely not having it. It is so close. Yeah, look at that Shouldn't market parking it right in the middle, saying, hey, good, are you going to get around me, my friend? You have to get around the outside. And that's hard. And look at that smiley. City's almost lost it, but he's kept it out of the fence. He still lives to see another day here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sandy Baggy just goes past. Alex Bud's a little bit further down the road, but that's costly. And when you are racing with some of the best drivers on the planet, that's uh, you can't afford to do that too often. Yeah, that, back of Daniel, he might not be in the back of Daniel anymore. That's hard tires versus soft tires. Well, that's Daniel's old tires. There he goes. So it's easy pickings there. You got to think too. Those guys on the old, older tires, mate. At some point, you might have to start thinking about picking your history down later on in the season. The flying well now tries <laughs> to fight it back onto Rick behind the M guy. So Zafso now confirmed doesn't have the pace he oh! may want it. Well, Rick has gone around oh, and the flying well, they must have collided together. I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at so this is interesting. Julie's really a lot of places, a lot of work to do. Obviously, the softs are mighty and powerful. What's going on, City? City is. Oh, now and Smalley sends it down again. I'm sorry to cut you off, but Smalley <laughs> really angry now. One to two. Oh, and Jeddah would have um, does not really have to do us, it seems. But TJD will have. So Jeddah would have Willy Pit. He will pit. So that is TJD with the DRS and an easy piece Everybody out. else on those old tires. And those old tires being 40, 47% for the front left. So Dex, 101 tire management right now for Pirelli. Looking good. And mediums to what they will go to. We're not quite sure. They stretch them to the softs, perhaps. Marken wants to get past. Zek is saying, mate, I'm going to make you take it the hard way. P13, P14. G56, G56 broken the front wing. There's carbon fiber on the racing line. They could call a safety car out. Zek's right just in the pit lane entrance there, so he's lucky. That's the best place you could possibly lose a yeah. front wing. Uh, but also speeds in the, the pit previous lane. pit stop. Yeah. Yeah, but there we see the, the delay in the pit stop. And now five seconds. If he doesn't pit again, we'll be added do his tally at the end of the race. Oh, come on, 256, our commentator, obviously, from the team. He's going to Alec, or Rickett is. Where Rickett is, probably P11. So that could be a good little battle that's going to occur with those drivers later on. Yeah, it could be. Sini now overtakes the chocolate, though, as you said. And doesn't make it too hard. Or advantage or disadvantage just at this point. They're pretty much even Stevens. Hayden wants it. TJD says, no, nah, I'm closing the door on you. I'm going to keep an eye. This is going to be a good battle. But have you seen the strategic masterclass of TJD overtaking at the right? Two and three. And Hagen is just too far away now for, for him to make any inroads or any moves on TJD. And TJD gets or stays in P6. Flying Whale might actually get him. I might be wrong on that one. Dirk's like, come on, pit lane entrance. And he's going to lose out. It's going to be close. Can he get out just oh, ahead of the Mercedes? Oh, he loses out last second. Nine to 70 percent front left tire for the Williams driver. So he is going to be in puncher territory at some point soon. But for now, Dirk Chocolate wants to get past Rickett, who's fighting right with the whale. I think Dirk could get a two for one special here if he times it right. Rickett, though, has the DRS, but can do nothing about the speed of the McLaren. The McLaren sensor goes really deep, but make sure to not touch the flying whale. The fastest man on track right now with the first sector. So Meanwhile, keep... the second, sorry, the, the second McLaren also making maybe tries out. tries it, yeah, but yeah, Max Duke is not nah. really fighting it too much. He knows there's no point in finding it's just gonna lose him time. He is still on this 14 laps. Pressure on TJD, 
Again. Sydney is pitting as well. So three stop strategy. It's two stop strategy for these gladiators this evening. That's going to oh, definitely bring it. Dirk Chocolate. Oh, just yet, but he's got a good oh, exit this run. This is genius. This is genius. I'm telling you, this is genius. He has learned from TJD. We will see it on the uh, replay. That, we're a lot quicker. He's about, I'd have to say, really about 42% front left. So he's going to make them go to the end, and they're going to have to start punishing. That's where TJD is going to be shining a little but bit. Didn't more. expect it because as Bagels mentioned previously, everyone sort of elbows are but clean and fair racing. TJD now going though very defensively, but now breaks really, really early. But of course has to because of the angle approaching. Two the men qualified on pole about half a second quick, and here we go. Am I watching at the moment? Fly a uh, flying whale on Rickett. This he's going to look okay. He's sized from the 40s on the hard, so he's got to push them. Sandy Bagging getting overtaken. Sandy Bagging's on older tyres too, and that's a Saf. I think that pit stop might be paying off for them, but are they running out of time by going to the soft so late? He's around here somewhere. That means the main straight is going to be... He's going to be on the back of them in no time flat. Can Saf get P3? And he, yeah, and Saf does now have deer as someone spun... Oh, and I believe that is exit. He's gone wham, bam. He's, he, I think he, he's on for a P3. The Ferraris have to work together and try to stop him. He's, he's going to be absolutely blistering and quick. That I, I thought that that might catching. Not. Hayden's got to be thinking about this. How can they work together? You can, you know, control your cars, swap over your ERS management. I don't know, mate. It's going to come down to the wire. It is it doesn't even need to test. Aiden Gillis keeps it as close to the apex as possible. Tries to hatch <laughs> Zafso out of track limits. But now a little bit too far behind to get DRS from Martin. And now Hayden Gillis shouldn't have any DRS, but does so. Hayden, but Zafso does get, get DRS as well. But TJD comes now down from the back. Nobody's yielding right now. Absolutely nobody's yielding. They don't care. Oh, I saw a little bit of a late. Was it just me and a latency glitch there from Hayden? I'm not quite sure if that was hopefully I just I think me. it was more... I think it was more of a... desync from a... He's got to keep T P TJD behind him. you got to remember, too, the yeah. guys that are on 18 lap tyres are pushing it like crazy. The tyres are, are, are burnt. And there we go. Sorry, DM guy wins the race. Oh, apologies about that one. He's done it. The Aston Martin. The, yeah, it's the wrong place at the wrong time, considering it's a great racing we have. But the man that's up on the top step... Wow. DM guy, right? <laughs> what a drive. What a drive by TM guy, what a command.